Good evening, one. This is CJ Peaceful. I just wanted to go over a few little products here with you. Um, some of them I'm sure you've seen before. Some of them you've, you've maybe even heard of. And I uh, was wondering if uh, you could possibly use them for uh, various adhesion applications. Uh, the first one we got here is uh, what looks like your basic super glue. Uh, is manufactured by Loctite, but it's designed specifically for uh, uh, plastics. Uh, it comes with an activator that you uh, basically you would smear on the two surfaces. Uh, this acts as a cleaner and uh, a promoter for the actual adhesive itself, which is in this tube. It's kind of a gel type finish. You would then spray it on your uh, surface which you wish to glue your application to, such as this, and uh, let it sit there for a little bit and uh, does its magic. Uh, it does work quite well, but it will leave uh, some discoloration, uh, especially on uh, a clear plastic such as this, this acrylic, um, around the edges where you glued it, so uh, something to remember. Um, also, as far as how much you get and how many uh, times you can use it, um, it is a bit expensive. I think I paid about $4 for this. Uh, but this, this does work uh, quite well. Uh, the next one, uh, something I've been using actually quite a bit, um, this is Goop. It is their automotive uh, glue or uh, adhesive. I believe they make another one called Plumber or Plumbing uh, Automotive. And I believe there's another one called Marine. Um, I've used all four of them actually and I find this one to work quite well for me. Um, I say that for two reasons. Uh, this seems to dry a little bit quicker uh, than the other three and it seems to be a little bit stronger uh, than the other three. Uh, kind of makes sense if you think about what it's designed specifically for, automotive applications. Um, but just like the Marine, I found it to be quite waterproof and caustic proof, if there's such a term. Um, and it, uh, it works very well when you're trying to uh, glue uh, dissimilar uh, plastics together, such as, uh, say, this PVC pipe and this piece of acrylic. And because it is uh, very similar to, say, like a, uh, a sealant or a caulking, if you will, uh, you can spread it and tool it just like a, you would a caulk. Uh, a cock joint. So you can get a really nice, um, so I'll show you here in the video, uh, a really nice joint uh, using that uh, automotive goop. And it's fairly transparent, as you can see. Um, it's not permanent, permanent, permanent. I think it doesn't actually weld the two plastics together. Um, but it is quite permanent in the sense that. Uh, you're not going to get much better than this unless you actually get an application that actually does weld the two plastics together. Um, next one we got here is, of course, I think a lot of us are familiar with. This is your average run-of-the-mill uh, all-purpose cement. Uh, this is for PVC, uh, ABS, and CPVC. Um, this will work with those three type of plastics. Uh, I do not recommend using this with uh, acrylic, plexiglass, lexin, you know, those type of uh, plastics. Simply because you, you can use it to stick them together, uh, but it will only be a temporary bond. It is not very strong. Uh, simply because it was never intended uh, for anything other than the uh, PVC type plastics. The next one we got here is uh, well done. Uh, it's a very good product. This is their number 16. Uh, as it states clearly on the tube here, this is a clear, medium-bodied solvent cement for joining acrylic. This does very well with acrylic. It does very well with acrylic PVC. It does very well with acrylic acrylic. Um, just about any type of mismatching or similar uh, plastics can be used with this product and it does a very good job. Um, it actually uh, creates a weld type application uh, when you use this product. Uh, meaning that <coughs>
say you got two pieces of acrylic here. Uh, you apply your weld on to say one of these certain surfaces. You press down on it. Uh, it immediately starts uh, reacting to where the acrylic actually uh, on the two surfaces actually start breaking down. And during that process, those two, the, 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 the plastic actually starts melting together, if you will. And as it as it dries or evaporates, uh, it basically becomes one entity. Uh, works very well, like I said. Uh, this tube here cost about six dollars plus three dollars and fifty cents for shipping and handling. Um, I could not get this locally. I don't think it is available locally. Um, I ordered off of uh, I think it was tatplastics.com. Um, I went ahead and ordered two tubes of it simply because. Uh, this cost in shipping, I think, was about the same for about one or two. So I thought, well, since it's going to cost me that much for shipping, let's go ahead and get two. Um, I do like this. Um, I'm probably using this a lot more than I have in the automotive glue, goop. Uh, but if I do run out, of course, of this well down number 16, I do have a nice standby. Um, the last product I got here is uh, something that I've talked with others about. Uh, methyl ethyl ketone, or MEC for short. Uh, basically, it's a special purpose thinner, cleaner, and remover. Um, you would never think that you can use a product like this to uh, stick plastic together. Uh, this does a very good job, actually, at least with acrylic I found. However, a few things to note. Uh, just like acetone, if you will, uh, and, uh, rubbing alcohol, denatured alcohol, uh, it will evaporate quickly. <clears throat> so the, uh, uh, this, uh, the solvent is, is, is quite thin. It's, it's, you know, it's like water thin. Uh, that's one disadvantage I found. Another one, like I said, it does evaporate quickly. So what I found is uh, using like maybe a Q-tick swab or something, pour a, a little bit in like a, a ceramic bowl. Okay. Put liberal amounts of this mech on the areas you wish to adhere together. Uh, don't be afraid. If you get a little bit over where you don't want it, it will evaporate. Uh, you can come back and wipe it off later. Uh, you do get some slight discoloration, uh, but it's not too bad at all. And simply press the two together uh, for just a few seconds. I usually try and just let it sit or clamp it together. Uh, number three, the drawback to this is it does take a while to work. Uh, I don't know if you can see this in the video or not, but this right here was a place where I had a piece just like this glued to. And I popped it off with a hammer to kind of give it a, a destructive test, if you will, to see how well it would adhere. And it left behind some of the plastic, and the joint is still intact. So I think it works quite well, but like I said, uh, three disadvantages that I can see to this product. However, this product is quite cheap, relatively speaking. Uh, one quart of this liquid cost me like $6.56 plus tax. That's not bad. Um, I'm looking into ways to uh, actually create a gel out of this solution. Um, I know you can take acetone, and if you want to make uh, <coughs> a glue type, uh, a gel type solvent, you can use an acetone. You simply take the plastic that you want to glue together, uh, <coughs> excuse me, put a couple of shavings of that in a bowl of acetone, kind of, kind of stir it around a little bit, let it sit for you know a couple hours or whatever. It will actually start breaking down that plastic, creating a nice gel. You can then, in turn, take that gel and use that as a glue to glue the two pieces of plastic together. Now, I don't know if you can do the same thing with Mac here. Uh, I do plan on trying to uh, see if I can give it a try. But um, Anyway, I just wanted to show you all a couple of these little products here, like I said, I've been using.